Alright, so here we are. We're vlogging today. So, I've got a big busy day today. Marketing meetings, got marketing work. I want to take you through what it's like to be a digital marketing person. So, first client meeting today is actually in my neighborhood. We're driving the golf cart over because I was going to walk. It's 2020. And since it's 2020, I was like, hey, I'm going to be fit. It's only a, about a half a mile away from my house because my client lives in my neighborhood. However, I'm late. So I decided to drive the golf cart over. So kind of what we've done this morning so far, I got up about six and had a couple things on my mind. So I started working, um, sent over a couple ideas. I had a client that was posting a podcast and so I wanted to get a video snippet out for them. Um, we got that up and running early this morning, got it posted. And now I have a meeting to strategize for 2020 with a client who's wanting to grow his YouTube channel. So we'll get into the meeting a little bit. We'll show you kind of some of the things that we're saying and uh, go see him. Also, I think he has the coolest house in the neighborhood. So we'll check it out. So change of plans, he is not at his house. We're gonna go over to his office. Um, it's like two minutes down the road. So we'll uh, not get to see his house. You got to see the driving up to it. However, we'll jump in the truck, we'll head on over and visit him at his office. P.S. I'm so glad I didn't walk because if I would've walked and him not be there, it would've been like 30 minutes late rather than like five. Is it weird that I listen to my own podcast while I drive? But I really think they're good. I, I honestly forget things that I say and remember them as I'm listening. I'm like, oh, that was pretty good. I should probably go do that like I told people to. This guy. Am I on video? You're on video. We're vlogging this year. Are we? We're starting it off. All right. Rather you, fast. You can, but it's not necessary. So here's what I'm... Here's... Before we get started. You lead the meeting. Yeah. Before we get started... What is your goal with YouTube? Because you, when you think of a YouTube channel, it has to be geared towards one specific audience. And if you're doing cars, that's a car audience. If you're doing real clear. estate, yeah. you're doing a real estate audience. So they're either going to be two separate channels yes, or they're going to be one. And so I want to make sure that we say, here is the focus for just this channel. Here's the focus yes. and plan for the just... You can't have them all in one. We could do... I agree with you. We could do two channels... One is just cars, or we could do one channel under the channel called Man Alive. And it touches on real estate, it touches on cars, watches, vacations, and it could just embody so if the, you're, a day in a life. So if you're doing that one, which I don't mind that one because it's easier to manage, I guess. But the thing is, is that real estate's not as heavily um, uh, typed in search it's as... It's not as heavily typed in search, but advertisers pay more money on it. Yeah, sure. Financial and real estate. Yeah, right, because it's not based on how many so views So when you, you look at the... It's based on views, but like per view, you get more money per view because advertisers are willing to pay more on those channels. Based on where the viewer's located, their age. Alrighty, so just got home from that client meeting. I have a video chat here in about an hour. Um, as you can tell, he's got a big YouTube push that we're focusing on. We're really trying to get this YouTube channel up and running. He's got a really good story. It should be really compelling. He's a, he's a good speaker on camera. So it's just getting the ideas concise to have a very specific and strategic plan. We've got our first shoot this weekend, so I'm looking forward to it. The next meeting is about somebody, how to implement their videos that we created on Facebook. So an actual social media strategy, they want to get sales, but you've got to nurture them first. So we'll dive into that one probably in the next clip here. I don't think you need to start with too much more than that. I would start with something, uh, you know, reasonable for you to do. And once per week is very reasonable, then start building it up from there. 
Okay. There's two factors to it. You want to be educational, which proves that you're the expert, and you want to be entertaining. So think about us when we go on to Facebook. We don't go on to Facebook to be sold to. We go on to Facebook to engage and talk and see what other people are doing and see what's going on and all that kind of stuff. So we want to make sure that our posts are adding value. They're adding entertainment and they're not just trying to sell. So I don't ever try and sell anything on Facebook. We try to get people excited to then call you. All right. Not too bad there. Um, you know, these guys are awesome at what they do however they have no idea what to do on social media so you know that was like a very very basic step by step of just how to get started a lot of people they're they're scared to get started and that was a step one this is what you need to do to start posting on social media and we're just focusing on facebook just one thing i want a small win first before I tell them what to do in the next stuff. We want to make sure that they can consistently do step one before I give them step two, three, and four. So just ate lunch. I got some client work that I'm working on. We're doing a PDF, a lead magnet for one of our clients. I'm making a highlight video from one of the 5K events for that same client actually. And I've got another video meeting this afternoon with a client that's actually in California right now. And if I've got some free time, I think I may go over to the law firm and record some content for my YouTube channel. So we'll see what happens. All right, so just finished up editing the 5K highlight video. I'm gonna play it for you guys here. This is just a promotional video. CrossFit 77, one of my clients, raised money for a charity for a 5k event raised over six thousand dollars so i was there documenting it and made a couple little highlight videos so i'll play one of them my favorite one here and you guys can check it out Is your thought process more, or I guess, do you think it'd be more impactful to just show like, okay, here's the 15 second video of these, these three steps to make the drink, or is it more impactful if it's something that's more artistic where, you know, let's say it's whatever flavor that would go into it. And there's some other type of video sh structure we show where it's like these ingredients uh, I think you'd mentioned something where like a cup gets filled up and like half of it is. Yeah, yeah so I think, uh, I think probably something really cool you could do is just kind of like have the cup here or yep. not even have the cup. Like, you know, you've got beans that are getting ground and you could do it like all manual. So it's like beans grinding, water going in, um, coffee getting done. And then, you're maybe putting like a mixer in and you're pouring it and as you're, or uh, you're pouring it and then like as it's done, you're, you've got like a nice layout of maybe it was an avalanche. And so you've got some vanilla, yeah. you've got some coffee beans, you get all that. And you kind of like push the drink in to like be the only thing with the rest of the stuff surrounding it. Yeah. I think that's, a, that's, that would, that seems to be more artistic and bring it to life than just like, here's how, like if you're training someone, here's how you make a avalanche. It's so simple, but like it hits your goal when you're going into a new market because they don't yep. even know what you are. Yep. And shows the different options we offer. And our people sometimes still don't even know like, oh, I can get that. I can get a, a coffee frozen or blended and they just don't know. So it's just, you got to visually show it to them, right? And, and right. show the options. So, um, so that one you're saying is just kind of showing all the different options of of like different coffees and stuff that we offer? 
Yeah, so like you could just have like the text coming up on the screen and it's probably only like a 15 second video and you make like 10 different videos with the different options, whatever you want as far as like text coming up. Maybe you say each one's going to have five things. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just panning around the whole time and it finishes. It's like panning around a cup that like maybe the, the light's coming around. So it's like a dark cup and then as it pans it, lightens up to like see clutch coffee bar and then yep. you see the text of what like what you're showing perfect yeah that's it's so, it's so simple but it's very informative of what you guys offer and that's that's what we need is just like it's like how do you do it in an artistic way that's not just you know pictures but also being able to show everything in terms of uh in a, in a video setting uh i think is is huge so that helps a lot. Thank you. All right. So that was last call of the day with uh, the owner of Clutch Coffee. We're trying to put together kind of a video marketing package for them as they roll out new stores to new locations. So we're creating all the assets now. So when they go to new, when they go new to market, they're going to have the entire video asset package ready to just distribute and they don't have to worry about creating any content. So that's been pretty fun. So kind of from here, I've got a couple ads that I'm getting ready to launch. They're all brand awareness ads where we're just trying to get more eyeballs in front of more people with content. We're getting ready to run a couple retargeting ads for making sales. So people that have watched the brand awareness videos, we're now going to start retargeting them with some other videos and uh, really keep getting into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my day. I'm gonna work out right now and then I'm gonna get back into it tonight but I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment below if you got any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.